Philo rejects the anthropomorphic depictions of God that biblical texts inherit from the early writers who are writing with a pre-monotheistic idea of Yahweh. And he does this by insisting essentially that these passages can't be read literalistically. So for example, um, when I talked to you before about breathing into uh, to the nostrils of the dust to bring Adam to life in Genesis 2-7, Philo says, now the expression breathe into, that's equivalent of saying inspired or give life to things inanimate. For let us take care that we are never filled with such absurdity as to think God employs the organs of the mouth or nostrils for the purpose of breathing into anything. For God is not only devoid of any qualities, but he is likewise not the form of man, and the use of these words shows some more secret mystery of nature. 